All right, I bought these uh, jumper cables. The whole point of this project that I'm doing here is um, I bought a 5,000 pound winch from Harbor Freight and I want to make it uh, so I can use it on a few different things. I want to use it to be able to mount onto my trailer. I'd like to um, be able to mount it onto the back of my truck and pull myself out if I need to, or at least give my give it a hand, um, give it a little extra pulling strength if I get stuck, because I have been stuck before. So this is for that winch project. Um, <clears throat> I bought these off of uh, Amazon for $25. I figured they probably weren't going to be 4 gauge or 500 amp, and by the size of them, um, they don't seem to be. There's a ton of room here. So, <clears throat> they're probably more like 6 or 8 gauge, but I already bought them. I cut them in half, so that's what I'm going with at this point. Um, right now, I am just making disconnectable jumper cables out of these Anderson connectors. It's not um, it's Anderson style connector. Um, and then the winch will end up having one of these, and I will have one of these mounted in my boat. So, in the summer, I can use the winch to pull the boat lift up out of the water uh, using that battery so um, I'm gonna buy some more of these but for right now I'm using the two that I have to make just disconnectable jumper cables so then I, I will be able to use these jumper cables to power the winch it, when it's mounted on my trailer and um, and then if I still want to use them as jumper cables I'll still be able to do that so um, right now I am up to um, soldering these I don't have Anything that I can uh, that I can crimp this with because it's four gauge. It's really big, so I'm just going to solder them in. Um, their web Anderson website says that that's an acceptable alternative, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. As you can see, the inside there it's got those spring tabs. This side right here will meet up with. this um, this side on that so you have to set them up so they will end up matching up correctly so like that so I'm just gonna set it lay it all out before I solder it to make sure that I do it right because I want to I want them to clip in and not have an issue so I'm going to lay it all out and then solder them up. Um, my game plan is to just put this in my vise here and fill it up 50% uh, fifty percent of the way with solder using this little torch. And then dip the end here down into it and let it heat up so it solders all these wires. Like I said, these are probably more like 2 gauge. It, the plastic around them is very very thick um, when if it was if it was actually four gauge it would be thinner thinner plastic or coating thicker wire but it is what it is at this point so I'm gonna go ahead and do one and then I will be back with you a little um a little part you can see hopefully you could see the line on the, the black cable matches up to the line of that I'm gonna do the red the next one red like I just got done with this and I'm pulling on it. It's good and tight. So do the red one. Then I'm Okay, so I soldered this one on and I finished it. You can see the tips there. So I have the small part of the jumper cables done. And I am now working on um, the other side. This little, um, the rounded side goes... Um, will go on this side of the uh, of the Anderson connector so I have these set up right there so they are um, <clears throat> they're set up how they're going to go in and I made a mark on the connector and a mark on the lines on where they're going to match up to go 
into here. So when I solder them on the uh, vise over here, I will know where they need to be to line up accordingly. So all I, w all I did was basically put that in there and then I uh, soldered. I put uh, probably 60% I had to fill up with solder because these aren't, like I said, they aren't true four gauge wires. So this is a four gauge uh, connector. So it's got a lot of space I have to take up with with solder. Um, for you, if you get actual four gauge wire, um, you won't have to put as much solder in. It'll be more like 50%. But I've just been heating this up and then dipping the um, dipping the jumper cable down into it and it made a really good connection like on this one. I, I tried pulling on them, I couldn't pull it out. So I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then uh, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, here we are. These are both done. They are still kind of hot. You can see I am putting them with the uh, flat side lip in so it will catch on that tab when it's pushed through. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this one-handed, but I will try. One, two. They both clipped in. You can see how they are there. Now, once again, one-handed, I will try to plug these in together. There we go. And I have a complete set of jumper cables again. Like I said, I'm going to get more of these quick disconnects and then set the winch up for one. And my boat up for another one. Actually, I might get two sets because um, I like them. <clears throat> and they seem to work pretty well. So, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to have more, uh, more videos about this winch project coming out soon. Um, so, stay on the lookout for those. It'll be within the next, next couple weeks. Next week or two, probably. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, like the video, subscribe. Appreciate it.